guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a more advanced tycoon game in Roblox Studio 2017. If you haven't seen my last video, it was just on how to build a simple one, but this one we're going to go into more detail and make it way better. So, if you haven't already, you're going to get the Zednops Tycoon Kit, and if you don't have it, the link to it will be in the description. So, we'll ungroup it and then cut these two things out and you're going to go into tycoons and you're going to rename this to whatever you want so it can be players it doesn't matter so what you're going to do when you're going to open buttons and purchases and you're going to delete this thing and this thing and now we're going to delete a few things that we don't need, like the colorizer, the materializer, the owner's only door, wall one, wall two, and wall three. And then delete their buttons too also. Okay, so once you got that, you should have this, and what you're going to do now is you are going to insert another thing. So let's say you wanted to make a store tycoon, then you could put in your store right next to it, and then this could just be where they make their money, but this is where they're going to be buying all their stuff. So we're going to insert some buttons, so you're going to go to the buttons, and you are going to copy this and paste it in and you're just gonna put in the stuff for the basic things the stuff you want them to get at first so like the parking lot and the building those are two things we want them to get first so let's go over here and we're going to see what if the parking lot is named. It's named parking lot. So we're going to go into this object. We're going to name it parking lot. And then we're going to put a price. Put in what we want the price for. I'm going to say um, 40 for now. And then we're going to change the name of this to buy parking lot and change this to 40. So now we're going to do the same for this one. We're going to rename this first this time to walls and we're going to make it 50 and we're going to go into it. Change this to walls and this to 50. So let me see if I named it all right. So let me see. So, yep, this is named wall, so that should work. So let's test it out real quick. You're basically going to just do that for everything. So let me see. As you can see, we joined the players thing so whatever you name that that's what that would say and now i'm gonna be back once i have enough money to buy the things that we just showed i'm back guys because i forgot to show you something once you do get those buttons in you're going to put them in the buttons thing so and you're gonna put the objects that you're doing like the walls into the purchases forgot to tell you guys that so let's go ahead and do that put it into purchases so now if we play you'll know it worked once they disappear so as you can see they've disappeared but don't worry about the rest of that and now i will be back again once i do have enough money to show you Okay, I'm back guys, and now I have enough. So as you can see, 
we can now buy the parking lot. Let me go get some more cash to show you the next thing. But yeah, basically, you'll know it worked once they disappear once you join the game first. And just if it doesn't work, just make sure you spell things right and put in all those things you were supposed to do. Because sometimes that will make it not work. But yeah, as you can see, that works. So now I'll be back once I add more buttons. So yeah. Okay guys, I am back. And as you can see, I've added buttons to everything. I've added the parking lot, the sign, the door, the walls, the windows, the shelves, and the counter, the roof, the cash registers, and all that. And let's see if it worked by playing. And as you can see, there's only one thing that didn't work, which was the floor. So we know there's something wrong with that. So let's go to the floor and make sure we had everything right for it. So, let's see. Oh, I know why it didn't work. We didn't even add a floor. <laughs> so... Let me find it. Okay, so basically all that's how you can find mistakes. You can just see if it's still there and then look for it. So let's paste in another button. We'll rename it for change it to ten and then go to price, change that to ten and that two, four. Then we can drag this and put it into the buttons. And we can get the floor and drag it into purchases. And there we go. So now when we play the game, the floor is now gone. And if we join this and we can start buying everything, so I'll be back when I have enough money to buy everything. Okay guys, I am back and as you can see I've bought everything and just like that you basically have your own tycoon game and you can buy more droppers and stuff by keeping the dropper stuff and you can keep any of those stuff that were on there that I deleted it doesn't matter but you can just delete them if you want to have a base like this so like if you wanted to make a Lego store tycoon then that's basically how you do that or you can do it the same with any other kind of store or theme of the tycoon yeah you can basically do it with anything so i hope you liked the video don't forget to like and subscribe and comment what you'd like to see next and if you have any problems just tell me in the dis in the comments and i will try my best to respond so i hope you like that guys bye